nào Milo He's purring so loud Oh, he's so fluffy His stomach is so soft and, and warm and mushy Puppers So I am not home for lunch actually I am home for the rest of the day Well, I took a half day just because I am leaving soon and I wanted to use up my PTO just in case I lose it. Half day today, I had a brief personal trainer consultation um, at one o'clock. So I did that and uh, it was basically a trainer that I had been to last year, late last year when I tried some boxing. So I stopped boxing just because I didn't really feel like spending the money on it after a while, but I do feel like personal training is kind of necessary for me, mainly in terms of I'm not very good at pushing myself and I also do want a little help with my knee and getting my intensity up to a comfortable place because I've been very afraid to be more intense and I really want to do more difficult moves and exercises. I'm just afraid to, so having some guidance on that would be nice. And I think diet would help too just because well diet mainly for knowing more about nutrition oh this is the animal room feels like a zoo in here but i am going to walk riley and then i am going to watch hostiles because i've been waiting to watch this i've been wanting to watch hostiles i just get the feeling that i'll like this movie because of course the subject matter is very interesting to me I also really like Rosamund Pike. She was in Pride and Prejudice, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. And then she was amazing in Gone Girl. So it would be nice to see her and Christian Bale. Oh, hi pups. <laughs> I swear to God, he's like a ragdoll. I mean, he is a ragdoll breed, but I mean, to me, it's so hard not to view him as a doll because He's so squeaky, like if I walk by or I say his name, he always meows back in response or if he jumps down, he makes that little noise when he lands. So he is like, he's a stuffed animal. Puppers, are you ready for your walk? I think so, it's a beautiful day outside. Milo's so wary. Milo. <sighs> I just got back from the movies. So today I watched Hostiles and it stars Christian Bale, Rosamund Pike, Wes Studi, Ben Foster, Timothy Chalamet. Surprised me in that one. I didn't know he was in the movie. And then there was also Jesse Plemons. I think with this movie, while I was watching it, I definitely felt like towards the middle, it was definitely a slow paced movie and I took note of that while I was watching it because there were times where I was like really thinking hard about what I had seen and how I was feeling while watching it. The slow pace may have nagged at me a little bit. I feel like right after the movie ended and I was walking back to my car, I was kind of contemplating what I had just seen in a very solemn mood and along the drive back I think I realized that 
the slow pace is really important for you to let what happened and all the emotions and experiences that they were going through. So I really think the slow pace helps let all of that sink in because when I was driving back, I did feel a little emotional about what I had seen. I'll try to keep my spoilers to my blog and try to just talk about maybe on the surface what I thought and try not to spoil anything. Um, this movie was definitely carried by performances, of course. I actually haven't seen Christian Bale in a while. I really think the last movie I saw him in was the last Batman movie he did. So seeing him again was interesting because I had forgotten that it had been that long since I had seen him and I had also forgotten that he was extremely talented. So he was a big, big part of what I feel is the movie's success because he pretty much plays a character that really undergoes a dramatic shift in their views and how they feel and a lot of that growth I think is important based on what emotions he manages to show. He is like incredible at that so I really really think that he carried the movie very well with his performance. Second to that, Rosamund Pike was also tremendous. I mean, I've always thought she was an amazing actress and she was incredible in Gone Girl. And then in this, you know, she did a great job. And I also liked that her role was at first kind of like a broken woman who was going through grief and everything, but she also plays a strong woman because she recovers from tremendous loss and then repairs herself throughout the movie during their journey, really overcomes everything she has been through and she has been through a lot. So I like the character she played. I do think that nowadays Hollywood still kind of casts the female role in a supporting role, like the wife, girlfriend kind of thing. So I was a little concerned that she would be similar to that where she would be just like that woman who needs help and protection and stuff like that, but it wasn't like that. So I'm very glad about that. One thing I do feel like I wasn't too pleased with was that I felt like the Native American roles ended up being more like even less than supporting actors because I kind of wish that they had more interaction and screen time and perhaps more dialogue. I don't know if there was able to be a good balance for that because they do play prisoners, I guess, that are being escorted. So it's not like they'll be talkative. They also have been, you know, stifled and oppressed for many years from getting their land taken away and all of the hostility that American people show them. I do think the more I see instances of just straight up hatred due to prejudice, it can be hard to bear after a while. I think the movie does a very good job at portraying both sides. I would say I cried a good amount throughout the movie, but I cry very easy, so maybe I'm not a good uh, example to give for that, but I would rate this movie 4.5 out of 5. and. I'm glad I got to see it today. This was a movie I had been looking forward to seeing and I think it was done very well. Oh, and one last thing actually. The movie throughout pretty much has beautiful visuals and I really noticed while I was watching it that I was just able to completely immerse myself in this movie. Like while watching it, I just kind of felt like I was there in nature with them because they are pretty much going from New Mexico to Montana, I believe. So lots of nature is shown along the way and it was so beautiful. I think the movie might even be worth watching just for the visuals. So I recommend it. And if you do possibly have interest in the Native American subject, topic, whatever you want to call it, then I would absolutely recommend it because I do think having an interest in them in the first place definitely enhances the movie. I also finally got my W-2 for my last job before I moved here. So I'm really excited about that because that means I can submit my tax return. 
hopefully I get that back within a month to smooth the transition between jobs for me. I also got a package. I uh, got some recommendations for books and I decided to buy and then there were none. The interesting thing about this book and the title is that it, I kind of feel like I've read this before, but at the same time, I, I feel like I would be confident that I've read it before. So I might have read one of her books in school. I'm not positive. And I actually feel like everything you read in school, you forget. The only book I never forget, well, I forgot a lot of what happened, but I think one of the books that I liked the most during my childhood from school was Jane Eyre. I just remember uh, feeling very touched and moved by that book. I am not too far into Beartown, maybe 60 pages out of 300 or something, but um, I could probably get through that pretty quick. But anyways, it's always good to have a book lined up. And I was tempted to buy some other books along with it, but there's no need to have like a huge backlog. I'll just search for more as I go. So this will be my next after Beartown. I'm pretty much done with my chores. I vacuumed and I mopped the floor just because it had been a while since I've done that and it's nice to get chores out of the way sometimes. Uh, living by yourself sometimes you can really let things go so ah, uh, still one hour and a half until Dota. I really should have taken a nap but for some reason I just I wanted to do things and uh, maybe I'll drink a monster because it worked pretty decently last time, so I'll just find a way to keep myself busy and semi-finals tonight, so the event is nearly over. I decided that I will probably start personal training maybe within the, the, maybe within the next week or so. I will start off with once a week and I mean... Personal training is a decent uh, amount of money, but I just don't feel like I can push myself hard enough without one. So I am excited to start up again because having the guidance and just having someone to push you is something I really like to have. And maybe it will kind of bring me to the next level for my fitness, which I feel like I've been really stagnant and even though, I mean, yeah, I'm thin and I never worry about my weight, I don't really think about it. I don't even know how much I weigh. I don't have a scale, so I can't. Building more muscle would be nice, I guess, and uh, having that six pack. Hope to get that started soon. It'll be pretty good. But yeah, I think I will end this vlog here. That way I can edit it.